And I'll, I'll say that social media in general doesn't necessarily help because, uh, first of all, you got generally nameless people behind uh, a lot of these comments and such that all they're trying to do is incite flame wars on either side. And it causes more mental division in our heads first so that we actually think that we have to be on the defense anytime we can get into a conversation on these things. What I try to, when I do have political conversations, I do have them on occasion. My goal is to learn something about the other person. Why do they believe what they believe? Where do they come from? Why is that part of their belief structure? Not, am I going to win this argument? I'm, I'm tired of trying to be in the winning game. I'm, my goal is to understand people. And this way, everybody wins if you're both playing on, on, that, on that side. And so the conversations could be really neat with that objective in mind, rather than trying to say, well, your guy's an idiot and that lady's a moron or whatever else, um, which obviously is going to happen anyway on social media, but in person, you know, keep in mind that we're not enemies of each other. We can actually have civil discourse and talk about things and actually leave us part as friends saying that, okay, we could disagree, but you know what? You're okay. You know, I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. That, that we could have a whole lot of healing if we could just get someone. 